Okay. Now let's understand the concept of introduction to rotational motion. Now, if you consider motion, motion can be classified into three kinds. The first is motion in a straight line called as translatory motion. Second is rotational motion. That is motion about a fixed axis or a fixed point. And the third is a combination of translatory and rotational motion. Let us understand the translatory and rotational motion in detail. Firstly, what do you mean by the concept of translational? Let us take an example. Let us consider a rod which is moving in the downward direction and observe these two points A and B as this rod moves in the downward direction. Now, as this rod moves in the downward direction, the points A and B also move in the downward direction and they get displaced through a very equal displacement given as S. So, both points have got the same displacement. So, the translatory motion is defined as nothing but a body is said to be trans in translatory motion if each particle of a body has same displacement in the same interval of time. Every point in the same linear parameter has got same displacement, same speed, same velocity and same acceleration. Now, let's understand what is rotational motion. Consider a lot in this case. Let's say there's a rod which is fixed at one end shown by the cross sign and it is free to rotate or perform rotational motion about that axis or that point. Now, let's say it starts moving in the downward direction. So, observe the points A and B. As this rod rotates in the downward direction, the points A and B also rotate in the same way. So, does the points have the same uh, distance to cover? Are they covering the same distance? Just not. The answer is no. In this case, A is traveling through a distance of S1 and B is traveling through a bigger curvature and therefore, let's say the distance over here is S2. So, in this case, what we notice that in rotational motion, we can define it as a motion of a body is said to be rotational if the line of particles in a medium remain fixed, that is about a fixed rotational axis and all the particles describe a circle. Every point has an angular parameter, that is, it has got angular displacement, angular velocity, angular acceleration, and in this case, all of them are about the given axis. Now, let's take some example of rotational motion. So, the first is obviously a hinged door. When you consider a motion of a hinged door, a door which is fixed with respect to one side and it is about to rotate about that, so that motion is a part of a rotational motion. And another example would be a classic example of a ceiling fan. In all these cases, the particles are moving in a circular path about the same fixed common center, but in this case, covering a different displacement. I hope you are very clear with this. 